I am going to solve a numerical problem related with the chapter equation. It is given in this book. Its name is Enjoy Science and it is published by JK Education Center uh, of Ganeshwar, Nepal. And if you want to buy this book, you can make a call to uh, call at 4471-91 or you can make a call in mobile number also 9841264468. Now this is numerical problem. The volume of the bulb of hydrometer is given and cross section area of the stem also given this much. Mass of hydrometer is given and what is told calculate the density of the liquid in which only its bulb emerges like this. To make you clear I am representing uh, this question with the help of a figure. First question asks you that you have to find out density of the liquid in which only bulb of hydrometer, this hydrometer, emerges. And second question, find the density of the liquid in which it flows, emerges up to 6 cm of the stem. In second question, what is asked? There is another liquid, second liquid, in which is 6 cm of the stem is also immersed along with this bulb. Density of this and this is already different and density of these two liquid is the question. Now I want to solve this. Let's say in question number one density is the question. Then we know what we know. We have an equation we have density equal to mass by volume. At this time we are related with density of liquid. That's why we must know the mass of displaced liquid and volume of the displaced liquid. Both are not given. But we can use our previous knowledge. For every floating body, weight of floating body is equal to weight of displaced liquid. This is principle of flotation. According to principle of flotation, weight of a floating body is equal to weight of displaced liquid. So mass of this floating hydrometer is also equal to mass of displaced liquid. That's why mass of displaced liquid can be taken as mass of hydrometer. In the same way, the volume of displaced liquid is here equivalent with the volume of the bulb because bulb just the bulb is immersed. That's why volume of the bulb is the volume of displaced liquid. Mass of displaced liquid is mass of hydrometer, and volume of the displaced liquid is just the volume of the bulb. So mass of hydrometer is given here. It is ten point five gram. And volume of the bulb is also given it is 7.5 cm cube and if we divide then we will get the result 1.4 gram per cubic centimeter you can use calculator. Now second question again density is asked we have same formula same equation can be used mass by volume but here mass of displaced liquid is equal to the same mass of hydrometer because principle of rotation says that weight of floating body equal to weight of displaced liquid so mass of the floating hydrometer is equal to mass of displaced liquid that's why mass in place of mass in second case also we can take mass of hydrometer but volume of displaced liquid is equal to volume of this Plus bulb of hydrometer, volume of the bulb of hydrometer plus volume of this much part. This much part means volume of the stem immersed. Volume of the stem immersed. That's why this is equal to mass of hydrometer. It is given 10.5 and gram and volume of the bulb. It is given. Here it is 7.5 plus volume of the stem immersed. How much is the volume of this stem immersed? It can be calculated by given two given values. It is cross section area is given. It means this cross section area when we cross it and we are watching it from the upper side, then we will see the uh, circular thickness. This is cross section area. Cross section area into height gives a volume that's why cross-section area into height gives 
the volume of this first part of the stain which is immersed so this is equal to 10.5 divided by 7.5 plus area of cross section is 0.3 into height immersed is 6 6 centimeter given everything is taken in CGS system and this is equal to 10.5 divided by 7.5 plus 6 degrees are 18 1.8 and if we take sum of these two 7.5 plus 1.8 uh, 835 to 33 1 9.3 9.3 if 10.5 is divided by 9.3 I have divided here its value is 1.129 and this is density and everything is get taken in CGS system that's why its unit is gram per centimeter cube this way density of second liquid is less than the first liquid that's why the hydrometer is immersing up to the greater depth this way we can solve this problem